Hey guys, Jared here from Sound Center up in the Brass and Woodwind section, and we are joined today by Erin Royer, amazing performer. I've um, heard some of your you. great work. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm very jealous. Um, <laughs> also, a repairer, which really tickles my fancy because I'm, I'm into repairing pianos, as mm -hmm. you know, and Erin repairs saxophones, so you're going to hear more from me about my saxophones. Um, <laughs> and also, an educator. What a great triple that is, an educator, repairer, and a performer, and and also um, you are a Yamaha endorsee yes, saxophone player. That's right. So talking to us today about Yamaha's biggest selling model, the Yamaha YAS280. Um, maybe just before we talk about this saxophone, do you want to talk about a, a bit about the history of this model because it goes back a long time. Yeah, way, I mean, it? like let's say it used to be the only um, entry level saxophone. Yeah. Um, we've had. Yeah, like 275 was the previous massive. model. Yeah. Massive, everyone had one. Millions of them out there. Yeah, <laughs> I think before that we had the AS100. I still have one, you, you know, really? from 30 years. Yeah, it's right. like, I'm not 30, you know, 30, but obviously I've got one second hand. Yeah. It's still going, it's amazing. So it's obviously gone through the time and they've slightly improved things. Um, They're actually get... sought after, aren't they? They are, yeah. People are out there looking for them. Pro um, players. Pro players, yeah. yeah. Just because of how great the sound is, yeah. how reliable they are. Um, but yeah, as we've gone through the ages, they've tweaked little bits as, as we've gotten more proficient at the instrument. Yep. Um, they've noticed what, what players are looking for. Yep. Um, like for example, it has the high F sharp key. Um, it has the, the tapered um, B flat lever. Yep. Um, it's it's nice and comfortable. The the key work, like the, you can see, the palm keys are are nice and tight um, and designed really well, so that you've got that fluidity up there. Um, but yeah, so there's things that have changed over time, and now we've got the 280, um, which yeah, like you said, is the, one of your best selling saxophones. Um, I recommend well, not, not just me. The yeah, whole world. Everyone, yeah, everyone, everyone, yeah. Um, and that's just if you're going to get a student who is like, yeah, I want to play the saxophone. Great, great instrument. Yeah. Um, it's so durable. It's long lasting. Um, all made out of um, brass. We've got um, you know bits of the keywork that have been designed particularly for that longevity of playing. So you can be bashing away at the keys if you if you need to um, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna last yeah um, the yes yeah, so we've got the tone holes nice and even feels really comfortable sealing really well um, pads nice and um, even feeling good um, and yeah so lots of different things that we've got going for this instrument um, nice free-blowing neck comes with your 4c mouthpiece again um, famous Yamaha 4C, famous. which we'll talk about in a minute. Yeah, um, so we've just talked about the 26. Moving into the 280, I think the main difference for me is just that, that it is made out of brass. It's a bit more durable. You do have the ability to have the higher sharp key. So if you've got someone... Why is that important, Aaron? I think going in as a, like, say, a year seven, you're not going to use it straight away. Yeah. But if you're going to spend that little bit extra and you just want to have something that will last you through high school, you're going to be using this from like year 10 onwards, sometimes even in year nine. Um, especially as a classical musician going through with the repertoire, you're going to use this for the harmonics, um, for you know just playing scales and having the ability to do that so naturally. Um, so much more, it's for me, so much easier to play the F sharp in tune. Yeah, exactly. On the sharp yeah, the intonation on it is, is nice and easy, it's free blowing. Mm. You've got that ability to have the alternate, you can have either this F or you can have the front F, mm. um, and it just allows it to have that more resonant sound. Yep. Um, and this, this feels really weird, but having this slight little rock for the B flat, um, which we don't have in the 26, they, that's because your primary school kids aren't really going to be playing no. low B flat. Um, some, some of them do, I'm not going to stop them from trying, but this means that you can be playing like your chromatic scale and you can get down there so easily. Lots of speed as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You can slide around it. It, it is there. It is limited. It doesn't have um, the joinery here, no. which we have in the upgraded models. Um, so, so if you're, say, if you're playing like this and you're trying to get up quickly, it's not going to allow that for you, but you're not going to play that repertoire. No as a beginner getting a 280. Yep. So, but it, it is nice and comfortable if you need to um, utilize that. Um, and we've got, yeah, what, what else do we have in here? Still all the steel springs, still individually soldered posts, um, but just a really solid instrument. Yep. So there's a reason then, 
because when we look at here here in Perth, we've yep. got um, we used to be called Sims, now it's called IMSS. Yep. But they've got a huge rental fleet that they rent to schools. Yeah. That's their saxophone. Yep. Yeah, nice and durable. Because oh, you know, as a repairer, uh -huh. when you do see them come through, it's minor adjustments. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Easy, easy to fix. It, all the screws are made well, which yep. is important. You yeah. know, that's it takes it takes a lot of time if you have if you're fighting against um, what it's been made out of. Yeah. Um, and it just increases your price and in maintenance. Yep. Um, so price-wise, this retails at twenty-one. Yeah, two thousand one hundred forty-nine. It sells for a bit under two thousand dollars. Yeah. That's still a fair bit of money. Um, but really, compared to what they used to be in real dollars, they've actually mm. come down in price. Yeah. And one of the reasons that Yamaha has been able to do that is they moved production quite some years ago now for this model to Indonesia. Yeah, absolutely. So the cost of labor has come down. Yeah. The material uh, is still the same. Yep, it's still... It just doesn't cost as much to make. Yeah, still precision made. Um, but yeah, being being in Indonesia, we, yeah, we don't have to spend the money. Um, they're still making good instruments. Yep. I, I do find a difference between the Indonesian and the Japanese sure. models. That's when you start spending more. You but know. you're paying another twelve or thirteen hundred dollars. Couple thousand, yeah, yeah it's exactly. A lot more money. Yeah, exactly. So if you're going to get something for your student to start playing, for your child to start learning, hundred percent. Yeah. Beginning, beginning. Um, you know. Total, totally agree. This is this is the instrument to look at. Fantastic case, fantastic accessories, all the, the right mouthpiece, yep. all of those things. The other thing is that resale value. We didn't talk about this, but if you ever want to upgrade to, mm -hmm. let's say they become a Aaron Royer and need a better saxophone because there's places to go, um, no problems because you want to sell this. It's the biggest selling saxophone yeah. in the world. You will it's sell got, it. You will sell it easily. Yeah. Everyone's out there looking for it. So guys, that's the Yamaha YAS280. There's a reason that it's such a massively popular saxophone. If you want to come in here to Sound Center and try it out, check it out. This is the place to come and we're always here to look after you. Thanks guys, see you soon.